we'll go with that. Okay. I want you on your own, use this as an example with the sheet paper that you have here. I want everyone to go ahead and draw this up yourself for the bakery because you're going to be able to do it for your concept as well too. Now, the value of this, again, is that this is going to take the idea that you have and it's really going to allow you to explore its full potential so that you can really see, let's say if we start off with just bakery, okay, her challenge is that other bakeries out here and so, yeah, she can go ahead and launch the bakery and she can go ahead and compete with all the other bakers just like everybody else, but it is limited to that. When you do mind mapping, you're actually taking a concept and you're trying to see, okay, what's the full potential that we have here that can actually have that business not only survive, but actually thrive because it's doing multiple things instead of just the one. So with a bakery, she's proficient in doing everything that a typical bakery can do. What else can come from the bakery? She can also sell the recipes. She can sell those recipes and traditional cookbooks. What else can she do with those recipes? Maybe make them available online. You see where we're going with this? What else can come from the bakery itself? This is by her having launched it. Classes. Awesome. So she's still running the traditional bakery, but then she's inviting folks to come on in and she's teaching them how to bake, and what's she going to do? She's going to charge them for that. And people will do that not only for just an individual, but ID just for an individual that wants to do it. Folks have been doing it for date nights now. I think I heard somebody say groups. Parties. Kids. You see where we're going with this? Mind mapping. You take your concept, you take your idea, you start it out with that, that initial state, but then just spend time just kind of exploring, what else can I do with this? Where else can it go? 